Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Today we're going to be installing the M9R gimbal into the Mr. Steel Special Edition Tyrannus X9D. So, if you watched my previous video, you saw me do the unboxing of this transmitter and the gimbal. So, it shouldn't be a surprise to you what they are, what they look like and what they do, but just in case, real quick, the M9R gimbal gives you a shorter or reduced throw uh, from, I believe it's about 60 degrees to 45. So if you're seeing that, that's the full travel right there, but yet you still get full resolution. Where this will come in handy is on the throttle for people who uh, are not pinchers, right? For people that use their thumb. All right, let's get this over here. Set that to the side. Let's get this open. Uh, if you want to see the full unboxing, it's a giveaway update plus Tyrannus unboxing. Check it out. We go over the whole thing there. I'm not going to do that all right now. All right. So let's get this guy out of here and let's get this stuff out of the way. Okay, let's get this going. We're gonna leave the gimbal protectors on here. It actually will help. Just kind of hold it in place, turn it over. We can take this antenna off for now. First thing I'm gonna do is remove the battery. I don't want a chance doing any work in here while power is connected, chance something going wrong, it's just not worth it. So I would recommend if you're gonna do this or do any work to it, just take the battery out, no power. It, uh, it eliminates the possibility of something going wrong. You're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up and uh, be right back. So what we've done here real quick is we've just removed these six screws from the transmitter. Uh, there's one here, 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 and here. We're gonna go ahead and open this thing up. So just gently, just gonna kind of, there we go. Open it, pull it together. Now, don't pull it too far here because you'll end up pulling the switches out. So instead, we're just gonna remove these two switches. This should just kind of slide out. There we go, there's one. You can just let them hang there. There's two. Now that's taking care of the top, but we still have the ribbon cable on the bottom, but that's fine. You should be able, you shouldn't have to disconnect the cable. Just let it there, be gentle. Let's put the uh, gimbal protectors back on. So with this done, if you feel like it, you can remove the ribbon cables again. I don't think it's necessary. We're not going to. Um, if you do remove the ribbon cables, be gentle, slide this uh, right here. We can zoom in, just slide this brown piece, let's get a pointer. You can slide this brown piece down. There's a little tab on either side you can use. Just, it'll pop down and then you can slide the ribbon cable right out. When you put it back in, slide the ribbon cable in first and then push the brown piece back up in place. Be very careful, uh, you don't want to damage it. So we're just gonna take these two switches here that we put inside and we're just gonna kind of set them over the top, get those out of the way, okay? This is the throttle, so this is the one that we're gonna be working on here. Okay guys, so let's get this uh, gimbal out of here and get it switched out. It's gonna be pretty simple. We're gonna need to just disconnect a few of these connectors, three to be exact. It's gonna be this one right here, uh, this one right here, and this long one across the bottom. Uh, you can use your fingernails if you can get a hold of the connector itself and just kinda pull on it, there we go. But if it doesn't wanna come out and you have to use something else, get yourself some needle nose or some uh, anything, anything that you can use to get it out. Now it's especially important that you get this bottom one out um, without pulling any of the wires out. There we go. All right. Okay, those are out. So now we need to take the four screws from the front of the gimbal off and that will release it. So I'm just going to tuck these back inside for just a second here and 
set this guy kind of back up on itself. Doesn't need to be perfect. You're not going to let, uh, you're not going to be securing anything. Instead, we're just, right now, we only care about these four screws. Just going to gently undo this. You can see that the gimbal is loose now. So, uh, we're gonna lift this up gently again. Let's actually turn the transmitter around again. And lift it up gently, minding the ribbon cables. Grab your uh, gimbal protector for your right stick. Put it in there and let's get this gimbal out of here. So it now, it should literally just lift out now. So what I want to warn you is don't get any of these other cables hooked up on it, right? So for instance, there seems to be a little adhesive right here on this gimbal, uh, on this cable, this orange cable here. Let's see if I can zoom in here for you. So right here, you see it. There's some yellow adhesive here. It's just holding all these together, okay? That's fine, but it's actually preventing the gimbal, as you can see, from coming out. So what we need to do is we need to pull those wires off of the adhesive. Shouldn't be hard, mine just came right off. So now what you wanna do is make sure as you pull the gimbal up, make sure as you pull the gimbal up that you hold these wires out of the way, okay? Let's get this switch out of the way. Kind of gently hold these wires out of the way and you should be able to just slide the gimbal right out, okay? Simple as that. Now let's get the new gimbal and let's put it in place. Uh, okay, we got it. We're gonna set this one right in there just like this. There we go. It's right in place. Now, what I'm gonna just do real quick is connect up the connectors. Same thing as we did before. The connectors are gonna go to the same exact spot. Um, and, and that'll be that. So let's get that done. Okay. Got that done. Good. Let's just real quick make sure that everything, okay. Yep, that looks good to me. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tuck these two switches back inside for just a second because just like we took those four bolts off of the other one we're going to need to put these four bolts on but what i want to do now is uh i'm going to we need to hold this in place right so that when we put the that we, when we put the bolts in we're not pushing it out the back so i'm just going to gently kind of hold it in place here and we'll get two of them going Okay, we're just gonna use the ones that came out of it before. I'll do it with, initially, we're just gonna do two, okay? We'll do one here, one here. That'll hold it in place, then we can uh, get the other two in. Or we can do them all at once if you prefer, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna give them a little cinch. Don't strip it out. That's done. Okay, everything looks good there. Let's flip this back over. Everything looks good on the back. Let's put our gimbal protector back on, at least one of them, but I'm going to do both. So the only thing left to do now is to reassemble the transmitter. So we're just going to put this thing, kind of fold it back up in place. We'll stand it up, make sure that these two switches get back into the spot where they're supposed to go. Should be pretty easy. They should only go in one way. And now I'm just going to rejoin the two halves, make sure that there's nothing hanging out the bottom. In this case, because this is a brand new transmitter, I've got a little tape right here. You want to make sure that that didn't go back up inside. Okay, whatever, pull it off. Pull mine off. There, there we go. And good. Just kind of 
clamp it back down. Good, make sure that everything joins nicely. Don't force anything. If it's not connecting and not going in together, then that means that there's something in the way. And we need to take it back off and figure it out what it is. Once you get all that done, we can go ahead and set this thing back down on its face. Take your gimbal protectors, set it on that. We will reassemble it with the screws. All right, let's get these last six screws put back in, fully securing this thing back together. And let's move on to the next step of calibration. That one's done. And we just got these last two up top here. Just a last couple cinch. That one's done. And that one's done. Everything looked good. Everything's joined back together. All your buttons are still working. So let's go ahead and just screw this antenna back on. Now that we've got that on, we can just go ahead and flip this thing over and reinstall the battery. Done. Good, good. All right. Now we can configure this thing. All right. Now we've just got to program this thing. Welcome to OpenTX. Throttle warning. Switch warning. Okay, so real quick from the front, I wanna show you why we need to calibrate this. So if I just go ahead and hit page, you can see here that the throttle, although it's all the way down over here, it doesn't register as all the way down on the little image there. So if we push it all the way up, same thing. It doesn't actually go all the way up. So you're going to be losing quite a bit of resolution, quite a few steps. So what we're going to do is program it to where it knows that this is zero and that this is 2000. So to calibrate this, we're just going to hold the menu button down. It's going to take us into radio setup and we're just going to hit page until we get to the calibration page. There we go, right here. And we're gonna press enter to start. Here we go. And we're going to center all of the sticks and sliders, done. Okay, we are going to hit enter. Now we're going to move everything. Let's just go ahead and do this one. That should be already fine. Now for the important one, we're going to bring this down to zero, done, up to full, done, bring it to the corners, bring it all the way around. This is calibrating it, all right? Bring it back to the center, right there's good, and enter, done. We've now calibrated this. So now if we exit here, remember when we were here before, when we went all the way down, it wouldn't go to zero. Now, all the way to zero, and all the way to up. All right, guys, so there it is. We've just changed out the M9 gimbal on the Mr. Steel Special Edition Tyrannus to the M9R gimbal with the shorter 45 degree throw. Let me know what you thought about the video. Click subscribe and notify so that you know when I upload videos in the future. Oh, the giveaway. If you haven't already entered, go ahead and do so. Uh, you can get additional entries by sharing it on social media with your friends and getting them to enter. Check it out. I'll see you next time.